Welcome back. Uh, this is still why in the morning and we are on Career Talk talking about tapping into the hidden potential. And for that, we have been joined by Sarah Muni, who wears many hats. But for uh, this particular conversation, she is a life coach. And we just want to know what she does. You know, we have mentioned so many titles and everything. So we'll be having your Instagram page just to see what you do as you tell us more yes. about it, how you started and where you are now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, how I started on this path of career coaching yeah. and, and, um, and, and life coach. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I, for me, uh, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't know anything about coaching. I didn't know anything about mentorship or anything about, you know, I didn't know that. I did a Bachelor of Science in IT mm -hmm. and I was in the IT world until I met a life coach. And I went through a personal development program. And from there, I think the rest has been history. And I think I would say, mm -hmm. as, uh, I mean, the years that I have seen most growth in my life mm -hmm. has been, you know, after meeting that, you know, after going th through that process of uh, personal development, you know. And uh, because it brought out so many things out of me, you know. It's, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, many people started telling me, Sarah, hey, but you are in IT, what's happening? I say, yeah, then I found my true north. Uh -huh. I found my true north. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, so would you say you were in, a, in the wrong career? Yes, I was in the wrong career. Mm. I was in the wrong career. <laughs> it, it didn't even align with my personality. First of all, I even started, you know, I, I used to sit in the server room configuring servers, pinging machines. And for me, I'm a bubbly person. Me, I'm, I, I feel best when I'm out there with people. Mm -hmm. So I used to wonder why. You know, I don't like it. I never knew about personalities at that time. But, mm -hmm. So the career was not even aligning with my personality. And that's why you find most people. Mm -hmm. Somebody is an extrovert. And then you are an accountant. Like <laughs> you have to <laughs> look at numbers, details. Yeah. You're very frustrated. Okay. So uh, your personality should indeed go with your career <laughs> path. Yes, because you will be frustrated if otherwise. Yes. Yeah? That, and by the way, that's why we mm -hmm. take that conversation even in high schools. You know, for, for, for students to know this is my personality. And these mm -hmm. are the careers that can go with my personality. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see you are a public figure, life coach, social entrepreneur, servant leader, leadership and change management expert, international conference speaker and trainer pan-african leader so many hearts that you hold there yeah they couldn't fit there. they couldn't fit all <laughs> of that <laughs> <one>. <laughs> you, yeah. okay talk to us about i uh, just to mention servant leader and leadership and change management expert yes so first of all um and, and let me say this everybody's a leader <laughs> Everybody's you know, a leader. Everybody's a leader. Uh -huh. So when you hear leaders being called, please don't look behind, don't look in front, just look at <laughs> yourself, you. stand and say that it is you. Yes, because if you mm. can lead yourself, you can lead others. So okay. I do, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a leader in many organizations as well. I have an organization called Youth in Africa, mm -hmm. and uh, we do have presence in all the countries across the continent. We do a lot of uh, skills training for youth. Mm -hmm. I'm a leader in so many organizations, um, I think. I, I have my company called Lead Pro Africa Consultants, so many global business round table as well. Mm -hmm. So I think for leadership, uh, I don't just teach it because I teach and, and I train. I've experienced it. You've so lived it. Yes, I've mm -hmm. lived it. So, um, okay. yeah. So And you see the best kind of leadership is servant leadership. It's leadership by example. You know mm -hmm. you are there to serve. It's not there for prestige. To or give orders. And no, the, and give orders and sit somewhere on a high top. <laughs> no, it's work. You're okay. serving people. It's all about service. Yeah. And just to take you back to where, where you started, you said it started all when you found it, when you found your life coach. Yes. And it started from personal development. Yeah, it was through a process of personal development. Then I realized, you know what, mm -hmm. this is what I should do again. I, I need to keep on learning this and I need to do this again and again. And then as I kept on speaking to people, I'd go from high school to high school. I've been to over 100 high schools just speaking to students. I've done so many public lectures in universities. I thought, this is it for me. This is it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was not like it just happened to, you know what, this is what I'll do for the rest of my life. This is, it was a process I went through of discovering and then I realized, you know what, this is it. Okay. Yes. So, but it for me. talk to us about personal development for someone who's uh, who ha who hasn't heard about it before. Mm. What does it entail? So, personal development is basically the process of bringing out your gifts, talents, and abilities out. Mm. And um, you know, we have gone through in school. We've gone through a process of being told things, things being pumped into you. The mm -hmm. world is like this, like this, and like this. You need to know that. So, personal development is a process of now bringing out the potentials out of you. Your, now that potential we're speaking about, let me say this, mm -hmm. a lot of dreams 
I think the, I think the largest grave <laughs> in the world mm -hmm. is is at the level of potential. Okay. That's where a lot of dreams die at mm -hmm. the level of potential and at the level of ability. I can do this because most people are not able to translate that potential into action so that it can help. You know. So that's why you need people who can actually push you. Mm -hmm. A lot of dreams are lost and die at the level of potential. I know I have potential to do this. I had potential of becoming this. I had potential of doing this. I, ha I know I can do this. I can do that. But you just don't do it. And you don't even know how maybe to, to bring it out. That's why you need to work with mentors. And you want to work with, work with life coaches or people who can just push you to bring that out. Mm -hmm. So uh, personal development is that process of bringing out the, um, the best version of you, bringing out those potentials and those gifts and, and abilities and um, out of you so that they can, be, they can help you and they can also help other people. Okay, yeah. and does self, is self-esteem inside personal development, especially yeah. when you're going through coaching? That's one of the things you need to work well on, mm. a, on a process of um, personal development. And there are people who have very low self-esteem because of maybe mistakes you've made in the past or things, situations that you found yourself in the past. So your self-esteem, you need to have a very high self-esteem mm -hmm. and self-belief that you are enough and you, can, you are in the world at the right time. If you're maybe working um, in a certain organization, you need to know I'm in the right place for me to bring out the best version of me. I'm in the best place to thrive. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I saw a very nice quote somewhere of, you know, um, that says, drive where you're planted. And mm -hmm. then um, it has a picture of uh, like a, a plant mm -hmm. growing at the cleft of a rock mm -hmm. in the very unlikely places. Eh? It's driving and it's growing. It's growing. That is life. So you need to be somewhere where you are driving and you are growing. And it's, it's not always good to always complain that, you know what, this, I didn't even want to be here for that time that you are there give your best okay yeah even if you're doing something that you, it's not for you you don't like it for that just time that you are there give your best give even your as best. you seek to if if really you want to, to seek something and give your best be known for excellence mm -hmm. be known for excellence don't give half-hearted service just because you, you don't like you, you study journalism you ended up in sales so everything is since you hate it everything is no <laughs> give your best those mm. people, you have, you have no idea where you meet those people that's here. So you need to give your best in everything that you do, even as you seek for your true north like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just give your best as you yeah. seek your true north. Yes, okay, yes. taking that home. Yes. And uh, now uh, for someone now, um, what did I want to ask? Uh, on Still on self... Personal, but yeah, personal development. Uh, yeah, personal development and self-esteem. Mm. So how does one... Um, identify mentors because you said that there's a place for mentors yes in your in your growth how do you ident identify mentors because for life coach i know for some they might think it's hard to get them because maybe of the pay and and something like that mm. but how do do you identify mentors and even life coach if you can uh, get yeah, one so for mentors you need to look for somebody who has succeeded in the area of your passion Mm -hmm. Yes, so like for you, if you're a journalist, you need to get a journalist who you admire, who has succeeded. You are, they're, they're way experienced, they're older, they're way experienced, and somebody who has succeeded, basically ex uh, uh, succeeded in the line of your career or in the line of your profession or passion. Mm -hmm. That's the person. And it's good you get somebody who you can be able to reach. I know you can say, oh, I will follow who I don't know who are the international journalists from BBC. Uh, but are you able to reach them? Mm -hmm. You can observe them from afar. You need somebody who you can also be able to reach. That person will help you more in terms of being able to tell you, uh, you know, at this point, uh, you can step on this, uh, you know, stone, step on that, step on that, make this step, make that step, you know. And uh, you will go through your career with making, with very less mistakes. You make less mistakes. You might make mistakes, but less mistakes less because mistake. you have learned from somebody's successes and failures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So get somebody who... Uh, has succeeded in the area of your passion. That's a mentor. And then even for coaches, you need to get somebody who uh, uh, possibly, uh, somebody who is able to uh, get out, I mean, with, who doesn't, you know, there are people who just praise you. You're doing good. You're doing so well. You're mm. blessed. You're not. You need to get somebody who can be brutally honest with you. They have your best interest at heart, mm -hmm. you know, but they can be brutally honest. They can be able to tell you, by the way, uh, I know you have, you have this gift, you have this talent, you have this skill, but you're sitting on it, okay. uh, you know. 
and you need somebody like that. Someone who can challenge you. Yeah, so you need somebody who can really challenge you if you really want to. And that's what happens even in soccer. I was just using that because I know many people know soccer. <laughs> How many people can relate yes. to it? The, the work of those coaches is to basically challenge those, uh, you know, the players. And also, just look and see the way you're playing. I think now you need to sit down. Mm -hmm. Or I think you need to switch positions with this other person. You know, they're able to just, somebody is able to look at you from a vantage point and be able to say, you have this strength, at this time do this. If you follow, you'll do. A coach need not have the experience. Mm -hmm. Those coaches don't play. Okay. Those football coaches don't play. You know, see them on the field, you know. Mm -hmm. But they are able to look at you and bring out, say, your potential is here, your potential is here, you play this number, you know. So um, mentors, the difference between coaches and mentors is that coaches don't have, mean, not necessarily have the experience that you have, but the mentors have. Mentors do. Yes. So you can have a mentor and a coach at the you same time. You can have a mentor and a coach. Okay. You can have uh, a mentor and a and coach. And for the mentors that are hard to reach, you know, talking of BBC and all, all that, yes. the, the, and maybe even in Kenya, you know. Yes. Uh, how, how do you get to them? How do you reach them? Yes, you can. Actually, it's very possible. Mm -hmm. But it's good to follow them. Just follow them on all the platforms, eh? as yeah. much as you can, and engage. But I know if there is a platform that is very easy for you to even speak with them personally, mm -hmm. is a platform called LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Those of us, and please, if you're growing your career, or you are a student, mm -hmm. or you are a job seeker, or you are an entrepreneur, you know, please, you need to have a LinkedIn account. Most people ignore LinkedIn. Yeah. And that's, the, I think, the most professional network mm -hmm. <laughs> in the world. You find you a lot of professionals there. You find CEOs. That LinkedIn, you're, you, you get the CEO. I mean, even if you're looking for a job, mm -hmm. you go there and go to somebody's inbox, explain yourself, this is what I'm doing, I need internship here. And the LinkedIn, you will get the decision makers. It's easy for you to get, you know, communicate to those, I mean, the, those people that you really admire and uh, you're able to get the kind of help you need from them. But if you write on uh, Twitter, on, on other, I mean, mm. on, on Facebook and on, uh, it can be a bit hard, you know, but LinkedIn is very professional. First of all, send them a connect request mm -hmm. because when you send a connect request uh, on LinkedIn, uh, you can be able to send them a message. From mm. there now, it's very easy to engage. Sure. So yes, you can be able to do that. But I said, Mm -hmm. It's always good to have somebody who you can reach, somebody who you can even meet in town. And have can coffee I meet you in the evening and, and have yes, it's it's always good. You get more help. Okay. Mm -hmm. And still on potential, what happens or what would you advise for someone who has made it to a certain level mm -hmm. but then self doubt comes in, you don't want to explore you are afraid rather to explore. You know you can do more, but you're afraid to step out. Mm -hmm. You see, and uh, now um the successes we get in life, they encourage us to keep going. Eh? So if you mm. reach somewhere and you feel down, um, you f you fearful, you need to speak to people. That's why mentors come in. That's why mm -hmm. mentors, they come, they come in. Or even a life coach or somebody or an accountability partner. You need to be sharing with those kind of people. So they'll tell you, um, even me, maybe I've experienced this in the course of my career. This is what I did. Mm -hmm. You need people to encourage you. And this life, you can't live alone, you know. Mm -hmm. There are those times you need to encourage yourself. But the other times you actually need somebody to encourage you. So mm -hmm. always seek out for help. For me, if you get into a, a low, a certain low in your career or in life, please seek for help. And know you're not the first person to go through that mm -hmm. or whatever you're feeling or the problem that is there. You're not the first person. So seek help. You will find help. So for, for me, I think that that's the thing. Always seek help. No, don't suffer alone. Okay. Whatever it is, you're not the first one to go through it. And you're even sometimes maybe somebody is even facing a sack. You know, mm -hmm. maybe you've been sucked and you didn't expect it. And I can assure you, you're not the first person to go through that. But at that time, it hits hard. Yeah, it hits hard. Make speak to somebody who you can share with. And a problem shared is a problem half, half at least solved. half solved. Yeah. yeah. So please seek out for help. And then also the other thing I want to say, please don't lose hope. Just because you are filled once in something you are doing, don't lose hope. Okay. Don't lose hope. Don't you know? lose hope. That's the part of the great, <laughs> of the great. Yeah, there will the be failures. Times. Can we even speak about this guy of KFC? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Colonel Sanders. Yeah. At 65 is when he is making it. Having failed through, you're even just 22. <laughs> <laughs> so you shouldn't be afraid to fail. Yeah, actually, we, this is what mm. we say in your 20s. Yeah. Fail all you can. <laughs> fail as many times yeah, as you can. Please work to succeed. 
-huh. work to succeed. But if you fail, just know that's part of the process. Mm -hmm. Work to the succeed. The difference is when you you yeah. rise up again. Yeah, you just rise up again. When you fall nine times, wake up ten times. Ten. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So right. these are the time. Make the mistakes you can make. I'm not saying you go ahead and make a mistake, but I'm saying mm -hmm. don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. As we, you know, come to a close on this conversation, you said um, you are uh, you in your passion to help people, businesses, and organizations change, grow, excel, and achieve their dreams and vision, it inspired you to start Change to Excellence coaching program. Yes. So uh, this is a program that we do online. And mm -hmm. uh, we usually, because you see, we don't just want to change. We want to change into something. Change is just a process. Okay. So you want to change to excellence. So this uh, process is supposed to bring excellence in everything that you do. And uh, now that's a personal development program. That, that uh, Change mm -hmm. to Excellence uh, uh, pr program is a, is a personal development program. So you take people through the basic, you know, sometimes when you ask people what is personal development, what does it entail? Mm -hmm. You see, see, well, the word is self-explanatory. Yeah. But what really are the areas that you need to work on? So mm -hmm. we look at areas of self-awareness and, and identity. We look at areas of, um, you know, personality profiling. What's your personality? Mm -hmm. You know, and we even do tests. We look at personal leadership. You mm -hmm. can't speak about uh, changing to excellence or even personal development without personal leadership mm -hmm. and self-leadership. We look at personal branding. We look at uh, emotional intelligence. How do you manage your feelings? And then from there, we look at change and change management. Mm -hmm. How do you leverage change for growth? Then we look at public speaking and, and, and uh, presentation. Okay. Those are some of the core skills. Personal development is a lifelong process. Mm -hmm. It's a lifelong process. So that one is just a program that we do for about eight weeks. But it will give you the foundation for you to build. Okay. So, yeah, it, it's, it's usually... And then from there, we also engage a physical daunting task like... Um, hiking so we actually hike because you know uh mm -hmm. we climb a mountain because you know life has many <laughs> mountains and so we need to conquer <laughs> you need to conquer the physical one we need to conquer a physical <laughs> one and it brings out so many life lessons by the way and then we do a lesson at the peak there oh. like the other day we did mount uh, kilimambogo and you know from there we usually have a life club as well of okay. people who are really uh, deliberate about working on their personal growth in their careers, in their businesses, in different areas that they are doing. Mm -hmm. So it's usually a very refreshing process. Everybody should go through. You know, this is what we should have been taught in school. In school. It, I'm it telling needs you. to be part of the syllabus. You yes. Know? <laughs> it needs to be part of the syllabus. Okay. Yes. And now, uh, t in case someone wants to reach you, give us your handles. And I understand there's an event or something so, coming so we'll up. So we'll be doing a free, a free event. It, it's online. Mm -hmm. Leveraging LinkedIn for career and professional growth please if you want to really grow your career and i'm saying this is for job seekers uh for for professionals mm -hmm. and for um and for students okay. if you want to really build a profile that can be able to help you leverage at least or attract opportunities out there that you need please mm -hmm. you need to leverage on linkedin and uh we'll be doing that uh, program on on 7th of september it will be uh wednesday september 7th at 7 mm -hmm. 30 p.m so if you check my facebook page or Twitter, Sarah Muni, the life coach, and or even LinkedIn. In fact, it will be very good for you to check, check LinkedIn. my LinkedIn, Sarah Muni. I will post the details at, I think mm -hmm. this by this evening, they will be there. And then we'll help you actually be able to build a profile on LinkedIn that can help you uh, be able to attract the opportunities that you need. So it's a free event and uh, we invite you. Okay. So, oh, so you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Sarah Muni. You can find me uh, on Instagram, Sarah underscore Muni. You can find me on Twitter sa at, at Sarah Muni. You can find me on Facebook, Sarah Muni, the life coach. And I have a YouTube channel, Sarah Muni, business and life coach. Please like, follow, subscribe, let's engage. And mm. please, um, we want to make sure that, that you build a career that you don't feel have you, you don't have to feel like you're working to do it mm -hmm. because it's fun yes. yeah <laughs> yes. you so enjoy me, it. that's how i want to that's what <laughs> i want to help you do build a career that never have to feel like work you know you're not fun. working a day in your life yes because it's fun uh -huh. okay <laughs> yeah so as we come to a close your passion is inspiring people to dream more do more and become more exactly okay exactly do you have a word uh the, your final word as we wrap up so as we wrap up i want to say um it just, it's just what i, I have said mm -hmm. um if you want to enjoy your job mm -hmm. then make sure you choose a career that you love Okay. A career that you love. You want to enjoy your job. Make sure you choose a career that you love. Don't mm -hmm. choose. Don't don't uh, choose a career because of pressure, 
oh, there's money, there's this, do something that you love. Then you never have to work a day in your life. And for me, that's what I want to help you do. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. And uh, I hope to engage with you more. Thank you for coming and giving us such amazing insights. Thank you. We'd like to have you again and again. So karibu sana. Thank you. Appreciate All right. So that has been Sarah Mooney, a life coach, talking to us about tapping into a hidden potential. Uh, she said, make sure you, make, uh, you choose the right career so that you don't have to work a day in your life. Also, a take home for me is everyone is a leader so make and anytime you get the opportunity step up to it so uh we'll take a short break and then we'll be back with youth and politics and we have ram aguko for that the hashtag to use is why in the morning at y254 channel see you on the other side <laughs>